Congress may be about to have a close encounter. It's due to get a report on UFOs from the Pentagon this month. A U of R astrophysicist who searches for aliens is curious, but cautious. Tonight, we found out why he's so unimpressed by UFOs. <laughs> It is what appeared to be the most credible proof yet of UFOs. Navy videos capturing strange, unknown flying objects. The pilots who witnessed it told 60 Minutes it was proof UFOs are real. But U of our astrophysicist Adam Frank says not so fast. Clearly there's something interesting going on. Um, but there are probably a lot more plausible explanations than, you know, creatures from another u world across the vast distances of space. Frank says the objects are more likely to be drones or balloons used by another country as a ploy to expose U.S. radar. Because of the hubbub over the videos, Frank says he wanted to bring some sanity to the discussion. So he wrote this op-ed in the New York Times, trying perhaps to bring UFO beliefs back down to earth. You have to write a science fiction story to explain why they're here and being secretive, but not so secretive that we don't keep finding them once in a while. If it sounds like science fiction, it is. But make no mistake, Adam Frank does believe there is some form of life out there. In fact, he's working on proving it right now. Not with videos, but data. And perhaps very soon, a new high-tech telescope offering the best proof yet. Soon we may have the capacity to see city lights, the traces of city lights on these distant, distant worlds. We're going to have the capacity to see atmospheric pollutants. Rather than this crazy stuff about UFOs, people should understand that, like, there's this revolution happening in the search for life that, you know, in their lifetimes, we will probably have data. Frank and his colleagues were awarded one of the first NASA grants to look for signs of advanced technology on planets outside our solar system. They plan to reapply for that grant this summer, doing some really interesting things, Scott. It was fun to talk to him tonight. Yeah, you know, but if you watch the 60 Minutes piece, there is one pilot story in particular. Without propulsion, this thing was flying way faster than pilots and jets were. That's has, a little... He has an explanation for that, He too. does? Yeah. I would like to hear that. Yeah. Well, read his op-ed in the New York Times. It's really well done. Okay. Well, I mean, that, that, would, be, that would be enlightening. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I want to find out what that is. Okay. Hey,